Okay, so uh, just to give you sort of uh, just um, some problem solving with Ganache if, uh, if it's not working out for you. Um, we, we, we quite often get a, uh, an email to say that the Ganache is too runny uh, and it's not, not working very well. If that happens, it's purely down to your chocolate um, or too much cream. Okay, so if it's really runny, uh, you have to add more chocolate to it um, or you need to uh, reduce the, the cream. Okay, um, now the problem is everyone's chocolate is different, depends where you are in the world. Um, so the recipes that I give on here work for me, but they might not work for you. So it's just, it's just a case of trial and error. But once you get the consistency right, try and stick to the same brand so you're not going to have any problems in the, in the future. Um, now if you find that the, the ganache has went quite oily, it generally means it's probably quite a cheap chocolate and it's, it's not the highest quality. Um, sometimes that happens with the milk chocolate, it can go quite oily. Uh, there's not really a way to, way to fix that um, that I know of. Um, well, just the next thing you make it, just uh, change the, the brand of chocolate um, for that. Um, if you find that your ganache is setting all the time, it could be that you just got too much chocolate in it, and there's just too much cocoa, so it's actually just setting very fast. It's a nice problem to have um, because it means you can just de decorate fast. It just needs to, you have to warm up a little bit longer in the microwave, so you get a bit longer to actually spread the cake with the, the ganache um, for that. Um, what else have we got that, that sort of gives you sort of problems with the ganache? Um, just when you're making the ganache up, right at the very start when you're mixing up, it does go through that sort of curdle stage. So just make sure you definitely keep mixing, keep mixing until it goes completely pure and keep on checking the bottom to make sure there's no lumps. Um, if you do end up with a very lumpy ganache, uh, the best way to solve that, and it's a bit messy, I'm not going to do it just now, is um, if it's very lumpy, is actually just scoop it out of the bowl, pop it on your table, once your table's clean, and spread back and forward with the part knife and just squash and mash all those uh, little lumps out. Scoop it back into the bowl again, and you'll probably have set it by that point, pop it back in the microwave, warm it up, and you'll find it'll be nice and waxy and smooth, and you get a gorgeous uh, smooth finish to your cake. Okay, so hopefully that's been useful and uh, good luck with the ganache.